Chris Matthews, a.k.a. Lethal Shooter, a.k.a. one of the best shooters walking this planet. It's like a melody, you know, but for you to understand this melody just like jazz, you got to know how to play music. You've been training NBA guys. One of your clients mm. recently... That is a clip of life and basketball, the rise of Lethal Shooter. It tells the story of Chris Matthew, also known as Lethal Shooter, who is the most the most sought after shooting coach <laughs> in the world, y'all. And this is so cool. Okay, you are the first human to shoot against an AI robot. You've yes. worked with a long list of celebrities, yes. Drake, Future, yeah. lots more. We're gonna get into all that. Uh, first, we're gonna talk about your documentary, yeah. upcoming event. You are a fascinating individual, yeah. my man. Yeah, so um, I am the first man to ever shoot against a robot, to compete against a robot. And uh, How'd it go? I was nervous. You know, really? I went all the way to Japan. I saw the robot about three years ago, and I told Red Bull I wanted to compete against it. It took us three years to set it up. Wow. Yeah. Okay, was it, what was the most unexpected thing about that? Um, how big it was. So oh. when I walked in, uh, I was, I, you know, I'm lethal shooter, so I'm like, I'm going to win. But when I walked in and saw how tall it was, how big the feet were, how big the hands were, I really extreme. I got nervous. So the first challenge, yeah. I did lose. But the second and third challenge, I mean, you I didn't miss on. a shot. I yeah. didn't miss a How shot. There's a video, by the way, if you guys want to see him with the with the uh, robot. How different is a robot versus a human? So this robot actually doesn't miss. So when it did miss okay. the two times, I was I didn't show it, but I was like surprised. Yeah. So it can make like 50, 60 shots from half court. Wow. Yeah. So you threw it off its game, is what you're saying. Well, I started realizing <laughs> when I was clapping, it would miss. So I basically I was using <laughs> tactics. <laughs> right. I want to. I actually want to get into that a little um, later. Um, tactics and the yeah. secret to yeah. perfecting that shot. But yeah. first, I want to talk about this documentary. Yeah. What prompted it in the first place? Like, how did you first find out about this uh, project and, and so, being a part of it? Yeah, different networks wanted me to uh, have my documentary out, and uh, Red Bull was saying they wanted to have my documentary. It was big to me because I am born and raised uh, Washington D.C. Yeah. And as you can see when you watch my documentary I talk about my trials and tribulations growing up in DC in different neighborhoods because you know I wouldn't be where I am today if it wasn't for the DMV like I told mm. you guys growing up I would watch Fox 5 every morning wow. you know what I mean so like I want to make sure with my brand I am continue to push that I am from the DMV area and you can be successful mm -hmm. because you know the youth in our area need to see more success stories and people that's uh, coming back to talk about the area yeah yeah, yeah. we appreciate that yeah. um your name where'd you get your name so I got my name from my dad he will always call me lethal um I played for National Christian Academy, um, which is a DMV school as well. I uh, played on a team with Kevin Durant, and my dad would always call me Lethal. So when I came up with Instagram, my friend Jonathan McNair, he was basically saying, like, you got to come up with a unique name for mm. Instagram. So I was like, Lethal Shooter. Yeah. And to this day, it's a blessing because people worldwide know who I am. And, and it says ah. everything you need to yeah. know, right? Yeah. I love that. Yeah. Yeah. So when we talk about training these elite athletes, yeah. what goes into that? Because part of you thinks they're born with it. They're yeah. born with this. So what are you? Where do you come into play? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So a good example, I train Jalen Brown. I train Anthony Davis, uh, Giannis. Uh, but the, the, where I come into play is to make you to uh, understand your craft. I mm -hmm. do a lot of filming, uh, just seeing what the person needs to work on their craft, mm -hmm. and that's where I come in and I help them and to take it to an elite level because they're already elite athletes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's my job to push them to make them uncomfortable to become more elite. I, I wonder what would you say is the biggest misconception uh, when it comes to <laughs> being a lethal shooter like yeah. what what do you think people um, get wrong about becoming a better athlete? Um, I'll say a lot of people think it's easy, you know, mm. and when they see what I do, they're like, oh, yeah, like, you know, everybody can do that, but everybody mm. can't do what I do. Because they don't see the work that leads up to it. Exactly. Yeah. So one of my clients, he used to play for the Wizards. His name is Catavis Caldwell Pope, and they just won a ring for the Nuggets. And uh, he, he said after his game, like, you know, shout out to my shooting coach, Lee the Shooter. But what people didn't see was every month I was in mm. Denver with him working late night, working even like with Sabonis. He made NBA mm -hmm. All-Star last year. Jalen made NBA All-Star. So people don't see the late night stuff. They just yeah. see Lethal Shooter shooting against the robots. Yeah, and Lethal yeah, Shooter yeah, yeah. shooting on the world's smallest rim or underwater. But they don't know my, my life is devoted to yeah. my clients. My life is devoted to helping people master the art of shooting. Yeah, they just see the highlight reel. Yeah, yeah, no, <laughs> yeah. seriously. What do you think about social media and, yeah. and stuff? You know, you mentioned uh, your, your pride in being from the DMV yeah. and giving back. And I mean, he's not kidding, y'all. Uh, you're, you're actively doing that. What do yeah. you have coming up? Yeah, so I've been able to do numerous projects in Washington, D.C. through Red Bull and different uh, different partners, Nike Basketball. We've renovated basketball courts. Tomorrow, um, well, tonight, 
<laughs> at six o'clock, we're giving away 500 book bags at College Park Community yeah, Center. Uh, one of my good friends, his name's Ty. Uh, he's been helping me for the last two years do activations in Merlin. Um, just two months ago, we had a police versus community game mm. because I want to let the, the youth know as well, you know, we have to connect better with the police department. The police have to connect better with yeah. the youth. So I'm having, I just want to continue to show our community like, okay, you see me in Japan, you see me in Indonesia, you see me in all these different countries, but I'm always going to come back home mm. because I wouldn't be where I, like I told you guys, I wouldn't be where I am if it wasn't yeah. for the DMV. Yeah, I, I know you know this, so I don't have to tell you, but it is so, so powerful for kids out there to see someone who looks like them yeah. doing all, all that you're doing. So yeah. we're really proud of you. No, it means a lot. Yeah. Uh, documentary, make sure you check it out. How can folks do that? Uh, you can go to Red Bull TV, uh, Life in Basketball, The Rise of Lethal Shooter. There you go. All right, awesome. make sure you support, uh, support our own. How about that? Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much, <laughs> Thank Chris. You. Thank we you for having me. Continued you. success. Yeah.